What I am, family? It's your boy Street News TV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Jay Money, a.k.a. Jay Moona. Now, Jay Money comes from that old block set, 64th and King Drive. Um, of course, you all know King Von, Chief Keef, Boss Top, Prince Dre. Only, you know, these are only a few artists that um, are associated with Old Block um, directly. Now, Jay Money didn't get his name from no rap, even though he made um, he made a couple tracks. And I also believe and don't quote me on this, but I also believe that he was actually signed to one of those labels, either OTF or uh, GBE. But um, he definitely didn't get his name um uh, from uh from no music j money got his name from uh being in the streets he was known as one of the uh top shooters in the streets um you know back before he died but he was real cool with 600 uh 300 um basically all of the bds and anybody that was clicked up with the bds you know what i'm saying like he was he was cool with all of them and um as you know after he passed gbe and um OTF ended up getting into it. You say, damn, well, how they get into it? And they all 300. Like, one minute, motherfuckers be cool. Then the next minute, you know what I'm saying? Not so cool. You know, I mean, that just happens in, in the shot. You know, last time I checked, I heard that they had squash, whatever, you know, whatever beef they had. Yeah, Jay Money, you know what I'm saying? He was a big time hitter and he was well loved, um, especially in O Block. You see Jay Money on pictures with guys like LA. You see Jay Money on pictures with guys like um, Rondo Number no. 9. And actually, a lot of these guys, um, and you know, people want to, they want to get in the comment section and argue, but you know, it is what it is. A lot of these guys didn't just claim one click or one set. A lot of these guys claim two, three, and some of them even four and five different clicks. You see what I'm saying? Perfect example, D-Rose. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of these clicks, you know, they click up and they do little shit on account of certain people. You know what I'm saying? So somebody like Jay Money, would have the, you know, he would have the uh, the credibility enough or, you know, the influence enough to link up a GBE and, a, you know, um, OTF. Even though, you know, they got family, they got blood ties in there, you know, it's a, it's a lot of different reasons why they, you know, saying why they were close. Um, he was definitely, like, well-loved in all of the cliques. And you don't find too many people like that. You know what I'm saying? All of those guys rep J Money. You know what I'm saying? And... When it comes to dissing all of the ops on that side, they're they're diss J Money. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, J Money was definitely a a big hitter in the streets. When it came to J Money being a part of you know the OTF, the GBE OTF things and, and, and the music, I don't think that that's what that's what they really had J Money around for. Seeing as how it's you know he didn't do no videos and he didn't do. Or, you know, maybe maybe it was just that he didn't get a chance to. But, um yeah, Jay Money, when it came to the music, I don't think that they really used Jay Money for the music. I think that, you know, they had Jay Money, you know, up there for the same reason why they probably had, like, Bezu, uh, Varney, you know what I'm saying? Because they know Jay Money, you know, Jay, they know Jay Money going to pull that trigger, you know, and Jay, they know Jay Money was going to get that money. He was also uh, very innovative. He was a, you know what I'm saying? He was a pretty smart dude. He had a lot of good ideas. Uh, concerning Jay Money's death, to me, this whole situation is like, it's so perpetual. This specific situation that got Jay Money killed is so perpetual to the point to where it's like, it's like a fucking tape recorder. It's like me rewinding it and playing the song over and over again. Jay Money was set up by a female from where he got killed. He got killed in Gyro City area. He got killed on uh, Rhodes. If I'm not mistaken, it was 66 in Rhodes. You know, the article is everywhere. You can go look it up. A lot of people mistake the fact that he got set up with, you know, his baby mother setting him up, which his baby mother, she was from, you know what I'm saying, from the other side, and she messed with a lot of dudes. Um, I'm not going to say she was, you know, in a relationship with him or whatever, but she was definitely social with a lot of dudes from over there. You know what I'm saying? I've seen her in a lot of pictures with some of Jay Money's, you know what I'm saying, so-called ops, including 051, including Gyro City, Taekwondo World. 
so a lot of people think that um you know when you say a female set J money up it's like damn you know what I'm saying his baby mama did it when actually that wasn't the case it was a uh, it was another chick that J money was trying to get with that set J money up actually so J money went to the location or whatever that he was supposed to link up with the chick at and when J money walked through the door J money seen you know what I'm saying seen two ops so immediately, J Money started trying to, you know, he started trying to get up out of there. He started running. You know what I'm saying? So they ended up catching um, J Money like that. And, you know, it's um, it's up in the air. It's questionable about whether K.I. was with Lil B when he killed J Money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whether J Money had a gun or not. Now, the newspapers never listed J Money as, as having a gun. The newspaper never said that J Money had a gun. But... Him being in op territory, I can almost guarantee that he probably had a gun because, you know, they don't list every time, you know, a victim has a gun or whatever. I mean, they just don't. I guess sometimes they forget about it because they didn't uh, they didn't mention the fact that T-Roy had a strap when he got killed. And then I don't think I don't think that Jay Money would be dumb enough to go in, whether he, he was thirsty for some pussy or not. I don't think that he would be dumb enough to go into the ops territory. I'm talking about the main ops. Like, they shooting at each other and killing each other every day. I don't think he would be dumb enough to go in their territory and, you know, not be strapped. Because, ch you know, the chances are that you're going to get bagged. Especially you going to meet with a chick that you don't even, you know what I'm saying, you don't even mess with like that. So, I'm almost 100% sure that he had a gun. So, what happened was, yeah, J Money walked in the apartment or whatever. He seen, he seen two of his ops. He started trying to run. You know, they hit him. They walked up on Jay Money and they hit Jay Money in the face three to four times. Wooski said in his computer's remix that um that they hit him in the face four times. So, you know, but it was definitely um Lil B. Yeah, Lil B did that, and you know, um not too long after he Lil B did that, the police ended up killing him. But um, you know, what we can learn about what we can learn about Jay Money's death is that uh you never underestimate nobody. And you never go behind enemy lines not prepared. And you definitely never go behind enemy lines for some pussy. Like, if you know that this female um, stays in op territory, then nine times out of ten, she's an op. Now, it's a, it's a, it's a fair chance that she might not be, but you never take that risk. You never take that risk. You see what I'm saying? Most definitely, you know... Not only keep your gun with you, this doesn't just go for Chicago gangbangers. Because sadly, I mean, you got to admit, like, it's more innocent people getting killed now than ever. So this just goes for everybody. And I hate that it's like this because, you know, getting caught with a gun, you know, motherfucker get locked up. But you have to keep your strap and you damn near got to keep it cocked and ready because, you know, stuff can happen super fast. And when stuff happens, you got to be prepared, like for real. And you got to damn near expect something to happen. So, you know, definitely that I'm not saying that he didn't have one, but obviously, you know, he wasn't ready. Um, also, and I think that um, I think that this is very, very, very important. And I need y'all to catch this message. When we dealing with the streets being in the streets we have to understand that a lot of the people around us don't give a fuck about us like we think that they do you see what i'm saying so it can be certain situations or certain things that that take place that should have never happened because the niggas that's around you should have told you, like, nah, hey, don't go do that, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell nah, Joe, that don't sound right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of niggas letting, allowing niggas to walk into traps and shit like that. See, that's what be making me think that niggas be haters. You see what I'm saying? And not, you know, this ain't just referring to J Money situation. This is, this is just a jewel that I'm dropping because this constantly happens. I see a lot of hits that take place and a niggas be in a lot of positions that they should have never been in. 
But we understand that, you know, the heat of passion is a is a is a is a crazy thing. Like, motherfucker get the get the right pussy on his mind and, and it's almost damn near, you know what I'm saying? Everything you say is one end out the other. And I understand that. But we gotta be better homies, man. Now, I know you yeah, some of y'all might say, well, how could you tell a grown man what to do? It's not about you telling a grown man what to do. It's about you letting your friend know that he's slipping. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's about. It's too many people that seem like they would rather make a post or a fucking um, obituary than to try to prevent you from actually going to the grave. You see what I'm saying? And it's crazy because it's like, how do you, how do you steer somebody in the wrong direction the whole time that they're alive? But when they die, oh, you loved them and you can't believe this and... You know, you ready to slide for him. But the whole time, you led him in that direction. You knew this was going to happen. You might have thought that yours might have happened before his, but you had to know that this was going to happen. And if you didn't, you a damn fool. I need my young brothers, man. Y'all need to stay out of sticky situations, bro. You know what I'm saying? You dissing and things of that nature, dissing the dead ops, man, that's, that's a no-go. You dissing the ops... In general, that's a no-go. Now, I wish that this whole thing would just stop. But at the at the rate that it's going, it's, it's damn near impossible because it's so much blood that has been shed. And it's, it's, it's messed up to the point to where if you choose to deal with one of these, you know, one of these sets and not deal with their ops just as much, you could possibly... Be risking your life. Not to mention you already risking your life dealing with, you know what I'm saying, dealing with gang bangers anyway. Just being honest with you. You just always got to continue to remember to stay on point. And don't never underestimate nobody and don't never think, well, this can't be me. Yes, it can be you. And yes, it will be you in the streets of Chicago. Rest in peace, J Money. It's your boy, SCN TV. I'm out. Got the we get money, fuck ho, pop pills, smoke drove In that lean, got me gone. In the zone, in the zone, I'm we in the zone. We get money, fuck ho, pop pills, smoke drove In that lean, got me gone. In the zone, in the zone, bitch, I'm in the zone. I pull up lean and Pull up leaning, box on my wrist got me gleaming, looking like I'm really beaming. She sucked me and swallow my semen. Step on the stage and they screaming. I graduated to a demon, Balenciaga, I'm the cleaning. Preach to him like a deacon, school buses got me tweaking. I ain't really with the beefing, buses that are not leaking. Bad bitches they be freaking, Dominican and Puerto Rican. But naked in the morning, sundresses in the evening. Side bitch of the year award, she know how to keep a secret. Blue cheese with that sauce. Lemon pepper with the seasoning, I'm in the zone and I'm beastin'. Bitch suck a dick like she teething. They met the fat me geekin'. I'm serving bitches on the weekend. We get money, fuck ho, pop pills, smoke drove. In that lean, got me gone. In the zone, in the zone.